Schenectady. The governor says he has no plans to revert back to remote learning. But that means all these kids have to get to school. But in some cases, there's a huge shortage of bus drivers at the moment. One of the districts trying to hire right now is Edison, but the lack of help is causing an issue for parents who need to get to work. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating has been talking to parents all night long. So Chris, what are they telling you tonight? Brittany, here's the situation. There simply aren't enough drivers out there, which means these children, well, not all of them are getting to school via bus. They're getting here with the help of their parents. Now, for a lot of parents who no longer have the option to work at home, it's creating a serious hardship. Add on to this. They now are paying a $550 fee for a bus ride their kids aren't even getting. This has become the norm for many families in Edison. They're picking up children at school, not at neighborhood bus stops. The district has cut as many as 30 routes due to a lack of drivers. The schools vary from James Madison Primary to Lincoln Elementary and Menlo Park Elementary. We have been told that we have to come to the school. There is no online facility for us to like do remote. So we have to come to school, doesn't matter what. And we don't have transportation. So that's kind of inconvenient. Kinjal and Vishal Patel's daughter attends Menlo Park Elementary. What's even more confusing to them is that there is a child living right next door to them being offered a bus ride. The irony is uh, we have a neighbor who is starting a new uh, school year this year, and she has been on the bus, but not our daughter. It's kind of strange since we live right next door to each other. So sometimes I just want to ask the principal, like, why, why is she going but not me? So far, the district is only telling parents through a letter. We know that this is an extreme inconvenience and we are doing everything possible to correct the situation and hope to have it resolved soon. This is an issue for districts all around the state. In Camden, the situation has become so desperate, the superintendent has sent a letter to parents telling them they'll pay them $1,000 for the school year if they'll drive their kids to school. As for parents here, well, it's causing a problem for those whose work from home option is soon ending. They are telling people to go back. In a couple of weeks, I have to go back to work. That will be really inconvenient for us. So, Chris, we know that parents received a letter, but have they begin, been given any indication from the Board of Ed as to when this problem will be fixed or resolved? Brittany, no, they have not, and that's what's been so frustrating here. They have no time frame as to when in, could it be days, could it be weeks, could it be months, as to when their kids may get back on a bus. But when it comes to more hires, especially those hires for drivers, well, that also may be out of the district's control. In Edison tonight, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey. All right, Chris, thank you.